I had a um, uh, very um, heavy operation a few years ago for cancer, and it 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 was a rather long uh, one. And what brought me out of that uh, from extreme weakness was the idea that I had the Dickens boy to finish. I was I was aware of how lucky I was. And so the the fortunate amongst the elderly are the ones who have a uh, passion that is not dependent on the permission of other people for you to pursue it. And uh, I, I know many such people, and I know many people who then didn't have uh, the, that concentrating and invigorating uh, passion. And I, I think uh, if I hadn't had that, uh, I would have been very, uh, very lost. I'm, uh, I don't intend to stop working and uh, uh, unless I'm stricken by one of those terrible uh, uh, brain diseases uh, that that, that uh, bring about an end of intellection with us, um, and uh, it, that may that may happen. Uh, God, uh, you know, we we are we say all in the hands of the gods. Although they say there are some p- people who try to remind us that we're in our own hands, and that if we do things right, uh, we'll be around uh, longer. But uh, basically, it's a matter of. Um, you know, doing everything right now and you might get an extra year. <laughs> yeah, we might get uh, yeah. lucky, huh? We might get lucky. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's a lot of work doing everything right. No. Uh, I, I'm aware as I get older what a remarkable society Australia is. Sure, with and my father was a digger, so I, I, uh, I, 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 but I'm still a Republican, so, so was he. So uh, I would like to see us become a a republic, not out of rancor against the Queen, but purely because it is grotesque to have a country whose head of state cannot speak for it in international forums. And um, with the best will in the world, uh, Boris would be very, very upset if if the monarch did speak for us and and does not, you know, is not one one of us. And let me tell you, the royal family, in my experience, are not particularly chipper, considerate Prince Charles, considerate a reasonable proposition after this length of time. But in any case, I've, enough, I've annoyed everyone by saying that. But, I, I, you know, there are a few things that we have to do. And uh, uh, one of them is, of course, um, make, uh, make peace with the uh, uh, original people. Uh, when I was a kid, my first experience of Aboriginals was in Kempsey. There's a big mob up there called the Thungadi or the Dungati. Uh, spelled various ways, um, and uh, they are uh, they they occupied the Maclay uh, uh, River, and were the first Aboriginals that uh, the Keneally's, uh, my grandparents, met after emigrating from Ireland, and they uh, they they were a um, you know, pretty depressed class when I was a little kid. And the idea of uh, seeing Aboriginal kids drift past on the street and so on, uh, go, going down to Kempsey on Friday afternoon to shop, um, us and them in this uneasy and unequal relationship, that just fascinated me as a kid. I I had an uncle who, a great bloke, who was the Kempsey Dunny man, 
Joe Joe Bully was his name, and he was a a, a delightful uh, a, a, a model sanitation man, and that's something we all need. Uh, in any case, uh, he used to get the cans out at the Aboriginal camp at Green Hill on the Armadale Road, and I used to think, gee, uh, why why is it okay for a white man? to collect the cans, but they can't sit with us in the cinema. Mm. And so uh, it wasn't a moral questioning. It was just one of those child amusement things. Mm. Why do we have A and B in the same universe? Uh, And um, uh, that uh, I think I never got over with the fascination with the inner stranger at the heart of Australia. And uh, I am now... uh, uh, a great devotee. I know a, a bloke called Jim Bowler, uh, an academic who found some years ago uh, Mungo Man. There's a mm. 42,000 year old man out there, and he was ritually buried 42,000 years ago. This makes him 20 times more older than Abraham, 